Hey everyone, this is Atul from Team Ketone Academy and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a free tier on Amazon's AWS cloud account so that you can practice. Now I'm going to use this video in our uh, number of trainings that we use for Amazon AWS and also for Amazon's AWS solution architect and various other trainings or free classes that we are doing. So and if you are attending our one of our free classes, and if that class involves a hands-on lab working with us on, on a hands-on lab, then it's highly recommended that you create an account with us before the class so that when we work on a free class, you can perform those tasks with us. So in order to create a free account, you will need three things. First one is a phone number and so that you, you get a message on that phone number to prove your identity. And second thing new you need is a debit or credit card and Amazon will charge $1 or depending on some amount, very slight, small amount, and it will be returned back to your account. This is just to test that your credit card works. AWS will not deduct that money or not charge you for cloud account or cloud services unless you upgrade it to the paid version or pay as you go version. And third thing you need is email address. So once you have three things, you're ready to start. So you go to aws.amazon.com forward slash free. This is the URL you'll be going on top and then click on this button, create a free account. And then this is where you'll be uh, putting your email address. So I'm using my, our company contact address, which is contact at ketoneacademy.com. You specify the password of your choice and then confirm password. And then you specify the account name. So I'm creating an account name is Ketone Academy 2020 and click on continue. Now, unfortunately, this email ID is already taken. So I'll take another ID, which is webinar at ketoneacademy.com. And this time uh, email ID is not in use by AWS. So I'm on the next screen on in this screen, you'll be selecting what kind of account you want professional or personal. So if you are not doing on company behalf, you can select personal or if you're doing it for your company, you can do it on professional, but practically uh, it doesn't matter much. So I'm going to use it for personal. I wanted to show you how does it look like for someone who's doing personal. Now, first is your country code. I'm based in UK. So I'm going to select UK and you enter your details. So I'm going to give my company details. Make sure you select this checkbox and click on create account and continue. Now on this next screen on payment information, you can enter your credit or debit card and then expiration date and your name and make sure that your billing address matches on the billing address for your credit or debit card and then click on verify and add. So I'm going to pause this recording now and I'll come back after entering my credit card details and then verifying this credit card. So once your credit card numbers or details are verified, you will go to the next screen where you need to enter your phone number with a country code. So I've already entered my number and you will have a security check and enter your security check, whatever digits or numbers you see and click on send a SMS. So I've click on send an SMS and now you should see a message on your phone and you need to enter. So I've just got a ping. Uh, that's a message on my phone number. Also, I enter the key code that are four digit code. I got it. Click on verify code. And once the code is verified, you'll get an identity has been verified successfully. Click continue. And now this is where you will get or select a plan, whether you want a basic plan, which is a free or a developer plan or a business plan. So make sure you select a free if you don't want to be charged. So select a basic plan, which is free. And that should be enough for you to practice whether you're attending our any of our paid program or you're part of any free training where we ask you to create this account so that you can do some work with us in the free class. So click on free. And now this creates your account. So now you're on a screen where it says, welcome to Amazon Web Services. And if you want to specify your role or some personalize it, you can say what exactly you are, your role is. So my role is, for example, depending on what your role is, I might say application architect or system administrator or IT administrator. So let me give my role as ideally I'm an enterprise architect. I don't see that. So I pick up either system administrator or application architect. Let me pick this and then interest area is whatever your interest area is, whether it's AI machine learning, um, big data analytics, probably maybe a 
administrator which is enterprise application or a content delivery most probably you'll be on either either one of these depending on what you want to do or maybe i'll select a devops for example and then click on submit and then in order for you to log in you click on sign into the console when your account is being created you should receive an email as well to confirm that you have been signed in and it says sign up confirmation and you say that AWS, you will get a message like AWS account is ready and you can start working on your account. So now I'm on a login page here, like for me, because I've created a super user, so super user, the user I created is a root user and I can create some sub users and I'll give them an access. And at that time I'll be using IM user because it's my first or root user, I'll select a root user and I'll now give the ID which I gave, which is webinar at ketoneacademy.com. Click next and it'll ask you the password and you are in console, so AWS console. So this is your AWS console and this is where you can access all the services like virtual machine, web apps, storage, databases, uh, network, or IoT, DevOps, anything that you want to do or machine learning, you can do it from here. So that completes your task of creating an account in AWS. It's quite simple, straightforward. So just to recap, you need three things. You need an email address, phone number, and a credit or debit card. And it should not take more than five minutes to create an account. And then you're ready to do your first task. Now, if you've created this account based on our instruction to attend one of our free classes, then hit reply to that email that you have successfully created an account. Or if you want to attend one of our free classes, then leave a comment on the video wherever you're watching this so we can send you the link of the free classes related to AWS. And I'll see you inside the class.